So we, uh, what we are going to do in this first module uh, or the uh, first tutorial, I am going to tell you how you are going to import the well data uh, within TechLog. So here is my window open uh, for the TechLog, this is the basic window. Here we have this plot area, uh, this is the project browser or you can say the project tree. Uh, there are different data sets over here uh, like data set, layouts, cross plot, workflows, global zonation, workflow managers. So every sort of thing, uh, uh, this is the project tree you, you create over here, it's saved over here. So let's start with the, uh, importing the trajectory data. First of all, uh, you should have your data prepared in Excel sheet. And uh, from Excel, you have to uh, save it into uh, your uh, CSV format. For example, I have a trajectory data for this R1 well. So I'm going to import this R1. I have saved it into CSV format. If I open it, uh, you will see uh, I have three columns, measure depth, deviation, and uh, azimuth. For MD, uh, your data should be measure depth is in meters, your deviation data is in degrees, and azimuth is in uh, degrees as well. So you just have to uh, drag and drop this uh, format formatted file and to uh, your tech log here i drag and drop it and you will see this sort of window input window pops up uh, on the right side uh, you have the uh, the data set type is set to point data you just have to uh, change it to trajectory from the drop down menu and the data set name you will write it trajectory and you see uh, it imp it is importing the data from line number three o over here you can see the line number three is the start of data uh, the variable na uh, name line is the line number one over here this is your variable name which is my depth deviation and azimuth and the unit line is the line two which is over here meter degree degree and degree so for example if you don't have the units in your uh, input file you can define and those uh, units from over here but it is already defined because I have those units in my file so you just hit uh, this button load to import buffer it comes over here uh, in this import input pane and so you can just uh, expand it and see whether your data is correct or not with the correct families and units so I have everything in order I'll just click R1 and hit this left button and here your uh, data set comes into your uh, input pane or the project uh, project browser you just uh, you right click over here and delete this data over here and uh, unhide hide this uh, import export window now you can see your r1 is over here uh, you just uh, expand it and you will see your data is over here now the next step is uh, if uh, there are two keys which are uh, used over here f1 uh, f2 and f4 f2 is used to rename if i press f2 i can rename the well and if i press f4 so properties tab, tab is open uh, this is the tab you know, where uh, you can like uh, enter different parameters for the well for example country you can write country name or the field name over here you can enter the field name the company name the operator or the uh, coordinates for the well uh, uh, apart from them the spur date the completion date the elevation of the well the datum of the well the total depth and the water depth you can uh, do all this stuff over here i'll just close this properties tab uh, uh, one thing more i have to color this well uh, you just hit f4 and here it is these are the properties for the well from here you just click the color and give any color you want to for this well I'll just hit the yellow and it is closed so this this well has a color for, for uh, yellow color now the next step is uh, TBD computation uh, um, because this well is deviated well so I have to compute it uh, TBD using this trajectory 
uh, because you know uh, the mirror depth is more than the true vertical depth so uh, most of the work which we do uh, in this uh, tech is using the uh, true vertical depth especially the geomechanics we use the tvd so first of all i have to uh, convert this into uh, i have to estimate the true vertical depth uh, for this one for this you just uh, click data from data you go to reference and coordinates uh, drop down this one and here you have tvd computation click on this one so this window pops up so here uh, you can see there are three options selected or uh, uh, filled with Meyer depth whole deviation and whole azimuth this book sign uh, refers to the family so it, it is automatically getting the family and it will look into the well whether uh, they have some sort of data in these families or not you can just click over the well or one or you can click the families over here or you can just click the curves I'm going to click family I'm going to just delete over delete these things from here so I can show you how you import this so whole azimuth I click this one and this over azimuth I click this one so this azimuth comes over here same for the whole deviation it comes over here and made it over here then I'm going to uh, hit create so this sort of window uh, appears now I have to use a data set which I want to uh, compute TVD for so I'm going to compute uh, uh, this TVD for R1 so I just drag and drop this trajectory data over here so this sort of window opens here so now I have to uh, check which data set I have to uh, first of all uh, this is a field type I'm going to select onshore so now it's asking me for the ground level and elevation so uh, the elevation is almost 9 to 11 meters above from the ground level which is usually your uh, rotary table depth RT or the uh, calibration depth KB so if my ground level is uh, 445 my elevation will be 455 or 456 uh, you don't need to change anything else just hit apply and close this one so here in your uh, project browser pane you can see you have a new data set created with DL well path so basically it has generated your TVD, DX, DY, DXG and DYT and inclination so it has estimated uh, computed all these parameters so what you do next you just click on this TL well path and duplicate this one once you have duplicated this one in the new one just uh, click on this one and hit F4 now you are in this properties tab over the properties tab you have to change the data set type to continuous you have done the continuous and just close this one again uh, select this TL well pad 2 and hit F2 and rename it to logs because we're going to import logs <coughs> in this data set so now you are almost done with your data import for the uh, TVD. Uh, now I have created a data set for logs. Now I'm going to import the violin logs over here. Just go to your input data where you have logs. So I have the R1 logs. I just drag and drop it over the tech log. So here I have this R1. So my data set name over here is written MEM. I will just click over here and I will press F2 and change it to name log like the R just you can just uh, name it like as it is uh, because the data which I have, I have here has di different sampling rate while the data over here has different sampling rate so it will not import this data into the logs if I rename it to logs uh, it should uh, if it has the same sampling rate it will import all the data over here but I know my sampling rate is different so First of all, I have to import this data set over here. Remember that your this name over here should match this one. Otherwise, it will create a new value over here. I'll just click R1 and hit this uh, import button. So you see over here, I my MEM uh, is in the R1 uh, tree. Delete this uh, permanently. 
hide this one now what you do is you expand this tab and one by one or uh, you can drop this into the logs it is asking me do uh, these data sets are identical what is your preferred solution you directly want to copy this or open the resampling tool so i think my sampling rate is same so i'll directly copy so you see the bulk density is over here so i'll drag drop my sonic data then i'll drag drop my gr data I directly copy this one and i'll uh, I, I'll show you the one example for resampling. I'll just drop shear over here, and it it uh, I'll I'll use this open the resampling tool just to show you an example how you do this. When I open this one, so this sort of uh, window opens. So this tells you the different parameters for this one. So I'll just hit apply. You can change the uh, this resampling method. Which sort of method you use? I'll I'll just use the linear one, and I'll hit apply so in this uh, information pane tell me that it has been copied over there i'll just close this one and here is your uh, shear sonic data over here you just collapse this one and you can just delete this in mem which we recently imported yes now you have your logs imported over here so this is your log data and then this is your family then the units now the next step is how to import the uh, your formation tops within your well data so again uh, you have your tops prepared i have prepared the tops for this well so if i go over here so you just copy your data in excel sheet and save it as csv format csv is comma separated values so tops are r1 just open this one and I'll show you what I have selected uh, uh, what I've incorporated in the data I have the well name Meyer depth and zones this well name should be same as is in the uh, tech lock project this is the Meyer depth this is zone see I don't have any unit line over here so I'll define those units when I input that data into uh, tech log I'll close this one and just drag and drop it in your tech log now here what you do if your data set name or the well name was not defined over there uh, so you have to give it, uh, it it is giving it the name as tops because uh, it is uh, not getting the name from that excel sheet uh, however let's see how we're going to do this one see i don't have any units here because there's no units in the input file so it is importing data from line two this is line two it is importing the variables the variables from line one these are the variables but unit line is zero because i don't have i i didn't mention any units in the excel or the csv file so i'll just uh, give units over well name have no units and the zones have no unit only unit i have for the mirror depth which i will select here and press m which is in meters i'll select meter and i'll hit the, this button load to import buffer <coughs> So over here, you see uh, the data. It, it, it is like it got the well name from there, R1. The data set name is already R1. I'll I'll hit F2 and change it to tops. And I'll just click this R1 and hit its import button. And here we have tops under R1. I'll just delete this one. And close this one now you have to like view if you want to view data uh, you just open the plot from the main pane and here you have a button uh, which displays your log data you click this one your this log view is open you just open your logs and drag drop your log view which you want to review so I'll drag this GR and my sonic so here my sonic you can use your mouse to zoom in and zoom out and you, uh, you can press the control button and uh, press control button and scroll your mouse it will uh, like uh, expand or contract your scale 
so this is my data where i want to display my tops over this pane go to this global zonation right here tops because this was i have imported this uh, with the name of tops so it shows you all these formations select all and from here you just right click over this main area working area and you see this option insert a zonation track so you insert a zonation track see so you have all these your zones so now these are in the vertical form so you can just right click uh, you click on this uh, uh, this this track and press f4 you will enter into properties pane and from here you come down and this orientation you can change it to horizontal now your formation uh, names are in horizontal you can expand this one and you can see where your formations are you can see where your logs are so this is how you import and display your violin data or log data uh, if you want to change the scales or uh, the lines major lines or minor lines within the distracts you just use this f4 key click on this log over here you can just click here or o over here uh, you will select this log press f4 the property tabs will open so for the scale change it is now displaying the family scale which is the uh, like a standard scale you can uh, hit it and uh, from the drop down menu you can use user and it will show you the lower limit and the upper limit of the data uh, you just press uh, change it I, I'll changing it to 0 to 200 okay you can change the units that's it and if I close this one so here your scale has been changed so this is how you import the logs uh, import the top and import the trajectory in the next steps uh, uh, in the in the next uh, tutorial I'll going to show you uh, how to uh, how to um, predict logs uh, within a well which, where we don't have logs uh, sometimes we don't have logs in the well and we predict the logs using the offset wells uh, that we do uh, by using uh, this you go to the data and we have this module called the well predict uh, this predicts the logs in the wells where we don't have logs it uses different techniques it uses the averaging distance method like the offset how, how much distance uh, far away are those offset from the uh, wells from the uh, well where you want to predict if well a is at like location one and well b is like three kilometers away and well c is four kilometers away from well one so we'll use those two wells to predict logs uh, in the well a so that's the technique we use basically for the pre drill geomechanics or sometimes we don't have the logs in the wells so Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,